So my living room is a mess because in the evenings I basically sew, which this is a very large blanket I'm getting ready to put all together. <sighs> it's huge. <laughs> anyway, so my living room couches are like, I don't even want to touch on that subject, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to fluff them, clean it up, and the baby will probably be up any minute and I'll have to start lunch. Slipped on the ice while we were on a walk. Did you have fun though? Yeah. Broccolis. That's broccoli on your chin? Let me see. Looks like chocolate. I like it. Did we eat ice cream cone? Yes. A mini cone? Yes. Was it delicious? Can I wipe your face? No, I didn't. Look at me. So today I'm making a uh, chicken pot pie. I had already cooked the chicken in the crock pot during the day. This is our green beans that we grew in our garden. We canned. Can't wait to eat them. Peas. Carrot, sweet potato, and potatoes. And there's already onions in the chicken and pie crust. So I've greased my pan and I'm going to take one of my pie crusts that I've opened up 
And I'm going to put that in the bottom. Press in the sides. Now I have a little bit of cornstarch and water. I'm going to pour that in with my vegetables. And that's going to thicken my sauce to be Okay, I mix that up and then I'm going to dump that in my pie line dish. So for the top of my uh, chicken pot pie, I am not going to use a pie crust. I am going to use a biscuit recipe. So I am going to be making two and giving one to uh, my son. So you have a total of two cups of flour, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar, and one tablespoon baking powder. I made my own little garlic salt, garlic powder, and some other Italian seasonings. I'm going to give them a little mix. You want to mix all your dry ingredients first. And I'm going to add very cold butter. One whole stick of butter. Colder the butter. And you want to try to work it with your hands, but you want to work it with your hands as least amount as possible so that you don't melt the butter. So I'm going to use my hamburger musher. Side note, you do not want to use a mixer for this recipe of biscuits. It is just as simple as mixing with your hand or a tool like this or anything that you can get to just break up the butt chunks of butter. This is when you can dig your hands in. If you have long nails, you might not want to do this. Now you're going to add around three quarters of a, of a cup of milk. To the batter. So once again, you're going to use your hands, and it's messy, but very easy. You just kind of knead it together. If 
If it's too sticky, just add more flour. And in my case, it's too sticky. I added too much milk. You don't want to overwork it, but the more you knead it a little bit, it gives you the flaky biscuit layers. This is where I take my biscuit mix and I'm just going to lay it out around the top of the What you found. It was in there the whole time, wasn't it? 